Hi guys doing uh, today I'm gonna explain several things uh, regarding relays uh, we're gonna go over how do they work their basic function uh, relay numbers and what do they represent uh, we are also going to test for pin relay and we're going to be uh, we're gonna cover the testing procedure for five pin relays uh, relays are used to control and uh, deliver uh, current to high amperage components on your car like headlights, fans, fuel pumps and other. And they are doing this by using a low amperage circuit. As you might already know, car relays used, uh, use electromagnets basically to close the uh, high amperage switch which then in return completes the loop and delivers the electricity to our high amperage component now that we went over the basic operation of a relay we're gonna go over the numbers and what do they actually represent uh, pin number 85 is always going to be our uh, positive to our electromagnet while pin number 86 is going to be our ground. Uh, pin number 30 is going to be our uh, main connection while pin number 87 is uh, going to be the pin that basically that's basically closes the loop when electromagnet is activated. Uh, so we got the electromagnet uh, which closes the loop and sends the electricity to our components. You could also have a uh, 5 pin relays and they are basically used to power two components but not at the same time. Uh, they would power one component until you activate the electromagnet then, then they would power another one. They are usually marked with AD7A. Uh, a uh, great example for this would be basically the the headlight circuit. The relays would be used uh, to power low beam headlights for example until we activate uh, the switch which uh, turns on the electromagnet which in return sends the current to the uh, high beam headlights okay and uh, this right here is how your basic uh, circuit might look like with a 5 pin relay now we're gonna get a relay and we're gonna test it as you can see right here we got a 50 amp 4 pin relay which was probably used to power a component like radiator fan or something like that and uh, uh, besides each pin there is a number and since we just explained what each of them does we're gonna go ahead and start with our test to properly test it you're gonna need a car battery a multimeter and you're gonna need a couple of wires uh, with these kind of connectors as you can see right here on the other side of the wires I just made a couple of loops uh, so I can make a good connection with battery terminals so what you have to do is take the two wires you made and connect them to the pins 85 and 86 uh, white wire in this case is going to be our positive while black wire is going to be our negative The clicking sound you can hear uh, when I touch the white wire to the positive battery terminal is the activation of the electromagnet inside the relay which in return closes the switch. That means that electromagnet is good but it's still 
doesn't mean that our uh, relay is functioning properly. Uh, put both of the loops on the battery terminal and make sure you got a good connection to your electromagnets. Take your multimeter and select ohms. If you have different kind of multimeter, select uh, the lowest possible number of ohms, which is I think 200, but honestly I'm not sure. I'm also uh, going to be using these alligator clips uh, since it's kind of hard to do it all by one hand. Uh, we're going to take our uh, uh, one of our multimeter leads and we're going to connect it to number 30. So now that the power is applied to the electromagnet and that switch is closed, uh, we're going to uh, test for uh, resistance. Connect the other lead to number 87 and let's see what does multimeter say. Okay, it's showing up some resistance. Let me just uh, make sure I get a good connection. A uh, good relay would maybe give us point, uh, zero 0.01 ohms or something like that. This one right here is giving us 2.3, 2.4 ohms and I personally wouldn't rely on it. I would call this one a uh, bad relay. If we were going to test 5 pin relay, uh, we wouldn't apply power to the electromagnet. We would first test for resistance between pin number 30 and pin number 87A, then we would apply the power to electromagnet and test for resistance between pin number 30 and pin number 87. And that is basically it. Uh, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe.